This is how narcissists act every day to no contact. Everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're exploring a topic that many can relate to, the complex dynamics that unfold when deciding to go no contact with a narcissist. We'll delve into the intriguing details of how a narcissist's mindset reacts to the idea of cutting off communication. The way a narcissist responds is closely linked to the duration of your association, whether it spans years or just a few months. The depth and length of your relationships significantly impact how a narcissist reacts when you choose a no-contact approach. The longer your history with them, the more apparent the patterns in their behavior become as you initiate the no-contact phase. But before we dive into these insights, let's build our community by hitting the like button. If you're new here, remember to subscribe and ring the bell for regular updates. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Your experiences matter. Now let's unravel the complexities of going no contact with a narcissist and decipher their reactions based on the duration of your connection. Ready? Let's jump in. When you decide to cut off communication with a narcissist and adopt a no contact approach, they might act tough, believing they can break your resolve. Their mindset is, I'll make you come to me. I won't be the one chasing. They perceive themselves as superior, thinking that your emotional and empathetic nature makes you appear weak. Their strategy is to wait until you can't handle it anymore and reach out. Why? To a narcissist, emotions and having a heart make you look vulnerable. The more emotional you are, the more they believe you'll eventually give in and contact them. This is what goes through their mind when you choose to cut off contact with a narcissist. It's crucial to stick to your decision. No contact means avoiding them entirely, regardless of the situation. Whether it's their birthday or even their mom's birthday, even if you get along with her. Maintaining no contact communicates that you want nothing to do with them, making it clear that the relationship is over. When you initiate the no contact approach, don't expect the narcissist to be overly concerned about your absence. They lack empathy, so they won't worry about your well-being. Instead, they quickly shift their focus to finding someone else to gain attention from. Often, they already have someone in mind, possibly someone they were talking to while still with you. Narcissists ensure they're never alone by having backup plans, a fear they strongly dislike. Always seeking validation and interaction, they keep alternatives ready. When you go no contact, they shift their focus to a new supply, actively seeking other sources of attention, as it is their usual way of doing things. With you out of the picture, the narcissist becomes engrossed in their new attention source, relishing the novelty. Simultaneously, they reach out to others just in case the new connection falters. Your well-being is not a priority for them at this stage. Over time, however, the narcissist may grow bored or encounter issues with their current attention source. Perhaps the new person is harder to control than anticipated. This is when thoughts of you might resurface. However, be prepared for the fact that they won't offer closure. Narcissists prefer to keep their options open and avoid burning bridges. The only time a narcissist might permanently back off is after a significant conflict. Not all narcissists return, but many do. Whether they do or not depends on the intensity of your breakup and whether you still possess something valuable they desire. If you have something they want, be it physical intimacy, money, a business, a comfortable living arrangement, or anything else, they might contemplate returning to see if you're open to reconciliation. This often involves them employing hovering tactics to draw you back into the relationship. Their return frequently coincides with them growing tired of the new source or thinking enough time has elapsed for your emotions to settle. Perhaps you went no contact after detecting their manipulative games or suspecting them of cheating or gaslighting. The narcissist patiently waits it out, engages in the new relationship, and then decides to re-enter your life. This is when the hoovering begins. You may receive messages like, how have you been? or long time no talk, or I miss you. The narcissist aims to pull you back in without addressing the past issues that led to no contact, acting as if nothing happened. Now, you find yourself in a challenging situation, realizing the narcissist 
was not the person they pretended to be. Their promises of a shared future and displayed affection were all deceitful. You're left feeling heartbroken, confused, and bewildered by the abrupt shift from affectionate to indifferent. Once the narcissist believes they have you, the affection diminishes because, in their eyes, they already have you, and they start searching for someone new to keep in reserve. It's like a game for them, always craving more and struggling to appreciate a good person when they have one. They're greedy, perpetually contemplating what else they can obtain, perhaps from someone else on the side, while keeping you around. When you uncover the deceptive games of a narcissist and decide to sever ties, they swiftly shift their focus to someone else. Whether you realize it or not, they may attempt to draw you back in later. The common question arises, do narcissists miss you during no contact? It's crucial to understand that a narcissist's thought process differs significantly from yours. While they might miss the favors you did for them, their longing is not for you as a unique individual or their true love. True love, in their eyes, wouldn't entail the risk of losing you. I can vouch for this based on ample life experiences. A narcissist wouldn't jeopardize losing you to someone else if they genuinely cared about you. Even if they harbor some liking for you, their primary focus remains on themselves. Immersed in their newfound source of attention, they pay minimal attention to your well-being. Many narcissists assume you'll be a constant presence, believing you won't move on and that no one else could match the interest you once held for them. Their outward confidence stems from the belief that, even if you're not presently communicating, you'll be available when they decide to return after exploring other avenues. This narrative plays out in their minds. What truly unsettles a narcissist is discovering that you've started dating someone else. At that point, the idea of someone else enjoying what they once had becomes displeasing to them. The extent of their concern hinges on the ongoing events in the narcissist's life. If they're managing multiple sources of attention, they remain indifferent to your activities. However, during periods of stagnation or when grappling with problems, they may resurface. Employing tactics like hoovering, love bombing, and attempts to reintegrate you into their life. When a narcissist endeavors to hoover you back, it's crucial to question whether someone who genuinely loved or cared about you would risk losing you in the first place. True love should prompt them to address issues rather than resurfacing months or years later. If you implement no contact with a narcissist and they don't attempt to reconnect for an extended period, it may indicate that their attachment to you wasn't as robust as perceived. Remember, a narcissist's primary focus is on themselves. If they do attempt to come back, it's likely because things didn't work out elsewhere or they still desire something you can provide. They may believe they can retain control and assess your responsiveness. Engaging in conversation inadvertently exposes your vulnerability to their manipulations. Reflect on your past experiences with this individual the lies, manipulations, and potential betrayals. They were deceptive and sold you an illusion. Continuing to spend time with them is a common mistake that perpetuates the cycle of narcissistic behavior. Their attempts to lure you back with their looks, relying on charm, may be enticing. However, attractiveness doesn't equate to value. Both narcissists and regular individuals can possess appealing looks. In certain instances, when a narcissist lacks substantial qualities, they may employ their looks to manipulate people. Many fall prey to this, swayed by their attractiveness and contemplating a reunion. Yet it's crucial to remember that allowing a narcissist back into your life only reignites the cycle of abuse. Changing their behavior temporarily, perhaps for a month or two if you're fortunate, won't solve the recurring problems. Ghosting becomes a routine occurrence. If a narcissist succeeds in reconciling with you, they might manipulate you while maintaining connections with others. Now, they may label you as desperate or naive for allowing them back into your life. Upon realizing they have regained control over you, they will likely show even less respect. They believe that even if you argue and cease communication again, you will still be there for them. Repeatedly returning to a narcissist makes you appear desperate. Each return signals acceptance of their behavior, diminishing your value in their eyes. Addressing relationship problems early is crucial. 
Disagreements are inevitable, and people may need space occasionally. However, prolonged breaks are detrimental to a relationship. During these breaks, both parties may interact or date others. When you reunite, the time apart can become a significant issue, raising questions about what occurred during the break. This compounds the initial issues that led to the breakup. If problems persist and a middle ground cannot be found, perhaps the relationship isn't meant to endure. This is especially true in serious relationships or marriages with children, where resolving issues is crucial for the well-being of everyone involved. Consider your actions and their impact on others. Many act without considering how their choices affect those around them or their family. If opting for a no-contact approach, ensure it is a clean break. Bid farewell, acknowledge the toxicity of the relationship, and recognize that any positive moments with the narcissist were overshadowed by the negatives. A relationship lacking trust is not worth it, and living in constant fear of deception is no way to live. Although going no contact may be challenging and lonely, it is far better than wasting your life on a toxic relationship. Allowing a narcissist to repeatedly violate your boundaries will only lead to worsening situations until one of you walks away. Life is fleeting, and investing time in the wrong relationships can be a serious mistake. Drawing from personal experience, I urge you to exercise wisdom, cherish your time, and avoid individuals lacking transparency, engaging in deception, or playing games. For mature connections, adopt the no-contact strategy with narcissists using the gray rock method. Be unremarkable, unresponsive, and emotionally detached. Block them across all platforms, and if others connected to them inquire, maintain a resolute silence. If you share children with a narcissist, manage interactions through legal representatives, adhering to court-issued directives. This practical approach ensures effective no-contact. We value your exploration of these insights. Your engagement and attention are crucial to our ability to deliver valuable content. For a small fee of $1, you can become a channel member, unlocking exclusive perks while supporting the content you value. Your support is vital in enabling us to continue providing valuable content. Once again, thank you for your ongoing viewership and consideration.